This is Leslie Lambert of LeslieLambert.com. And today I want to talk to you about a book that I recently had the honor of getting an advanced copy um, to read. And it's called Surviving Your Serengeti. It's by a friend of mine, Stefan Swanepoels, and he is a uh, well-renowned um, real estate authority and an economic strategist and has now taken his extreme knowledge of uh, professional business and how to function successfully within uh, within the business world into this really unique business parable. And, you know, there's a lot of business self-helps, 10, 10 tips to such and such and the seven effective habits and, you know, all these things. And this is interesting, especially interesting to someone like me, because it's there's a story to this. There's a plot. There's a lot of thought behind it. There's characters. And within these characters and plots, you do learn your business lesson. So Surviving Your Serengeti uh, tells the story of uh, two people, a couple, businessman and his wife that are coming to Africa on a safari, and it's hard for him to leave his Blackberry and business behind and just enjoy the sights and sounds. And he runs into an old college friend of his who is an expert in this area, and they end up getting some very special treatment and, and tour of the bush. And while they're out on the tour, they encounter different animals. And each one of these animals tells something about people and how they interact and what skills these animals demonstrate, how these skills can be applied um, in your interpersonal and business relationships. I found that interplay of business skills merging with fable and parable to be extremely effective, very readable, very enjoyable. Um, I, I've read it through once and then gone back and looked at some highlights and I'll be reading it and sharing it some more. If you'd like to know more about this great book, you can go to SerengetiBook.com and find out whether you are most attuned with The Enduring Wildebeest, The Strategic Lion, The Enterprising Crocodile, The Efficient Cheetah, The Graceful Giraffe, The Risk-Taking Mongoose, or The Communicating Elephant. And there is an online quiz that you can take at whatanimalami.com that will tell you uh, the first time I took it, I was an enterprising crocodile, which I wasn't surprised at, uh, but I retook it out of curiosity to see if it would change, and I've taken it now four times, and I was first a crocodile, and then the last three times have come in as an enduring wildebeest, which isn't as bad as it seems, because these wildebeests are uh, powerful creatures, as you'll find out if you read this book. There's a, there's a lot to be said for them, and you know what? I'm proud of the, the, the fact that I have endured a lot in my business life, you know, going into my 23rd year of real estate. So I guess if that makes me an enduring wildebeest, then I'm proud to carry that, and I hope that you will explore surviving your Serengeti. Uh, let me know, what animal are you?